What's going on with us? Patrick here today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the Scarlet Spider-Man Web Shooter. Alright, so you're going to want to take the 3mm foam, put it around your wrist, and get a marking of the correct size for the web shooter. After that, you're going to want to take some scissors, cut out some of the Velcro that you had purchased. I use super glue for this, you can use hot glue, anything that really works for this. And just put them on the edges of the web shooter to allow it to strap down to your wrist. Always go a little bit over for the one side of the Velcro so that it is actually able to attach. Next I'm moving on to the dowels. I used 8 centimeters for my web shooter canisters. You don't have to use 8 centimeters. It depends on how big your wrists are and how big you make the actual web shooter itself. Use the super glue to glue them together. It became very simple. You can actually purchase full dowels. I actually purchased this for another reason and I decided to use it for this as well. I will be sure to leave a link in the description for the full dowel size so that you can purchase them if you just want to make just web shooters. After that, I took my Dremel and sanded down all of the ends of the dowels, just making a sort of bevel around the edges to give them a round shape. After this, I took the web shooter and divided it into five different slots to make it as even as possible. Mine was about 19 centimeters, so I put one every about four centimeters, and to be honest, it turned out very, very well. Just used the super glue to hold them down in these areas. After this, I'll move on to the one millimeter foam where I use just about the middle area and some super glue to push everything into place and keep everything holding together. This will never come undone. Super glue is very strong. I've stuck my fingers together several times. Using a pair of scissors, I cut off the excess foam, and this is the end process. So I only used dollar store paints for this. You do not need to buy anything extravagant. Dollar store paints are totally fine. I used the silver, black, and brown. So starting off the, with the brown, I applied about three to four coats using this. You know, getting it as close as possible. It's okay if you touch the sides of other things, it's going to be going over with other paints. So the first coat doesn't really have to be as accurate as possible, but once you move on to the other coats, it does tend to become more and more accurate. Use a black on the outer rims. I could have gone brown with this, but I decided black made it look a little bit more, it stood out a little bit more, which I actually liked over the brown. So that is why I went black instead of the brown, but you're more than welcome to design these any way that you like. Alright, and just like that, they are all done. You got two web shooters so you can go pew pew. So these web shooters only took me about two to three hours to make. If I were to change anything that I did about it, I would just add some Plasti Dip or some Flex Seal to make it a little bit easier to paint. I honestly think they came out pretty darn well for my first attempt, not gonna lie. They look pretty accurate. I decided to go with a little bit less of the cartridges on the web shooter. I wanted to look a little bit more realistic because in every single episode of every Spider-Man show who uses cartridges, at some point he runs out and you know, it's possible he can run out with just this many. So again, for the foam, I use three millimeter, one millimeter, and these are the half cylinders from Art of Wigs. I will leave a link to everything in the description below if you want to check it out. But that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button. If you want to see any other web shooters for any other Spider-Man suit, comment them down below. I'd be happy to make them for you and relay all the information for you guys. But thank you guys for watching and uh, have a good day. Mm.